In this lesson, we're going to have a look at the code that will make a sprite glide. So, when you come to scratch.mite.edu, you can sign into your account, or if you wish, you can simply click on create. I'm going to use the desktop editor. So, we're going to bring in a sprite that will look like it's either flying or gliding. Some people choose uh, out of fantasy, they do the, they could do, you could do the unicorn if you wish, make it look like it's flying across the sky, you could do the broom, dragon if you wish, some people do the ghost. I'm actually going to uh, just type in fly and I would like to use the balloon. So we don't need the cat, right click and delete. Then with the balloon I'm going to set it top left and I actually want it smaller than what it is. I'm going to take it down to 20 and then press enter and then place it top left. Now, at this stage, I'm going to bring in the background, and I would like an outside one, and I'm going to use the hay field. As you can see, our balloon is blue against the sky, so it gets lost. If we go click on the balloon and go to costumes, there is a yellow balloon, but again, uh, not a lot of contrast between the hay and the balloon, so I would like to delete these two and use the pink balloon. So in our code we're going to start with event which will start the animation when the green flag is clicked. Then the code that we're going to concentrate on today is glide and it comes from motion. First of all we would like the sprite to start at the top left so because we've already placed the sprite there the x and y coordinates are already picked up by scratch so we'll place that there and then we have a control of weight and we'll pop it down to 0 0.2 then from this point onwards we're going to have a repeat of actions which will make the balloon glide. So we want it to glide forward but it's dropping at the same time as balloons do. So we'll pick this one up so glide to those coordinates and we would like it to take its time so about 10 seconds and then just going to make it wait briefly, 0 0.1, and as if some wind has picked up underneath it, so we'll make it glide up a little bit. And the coordinates are already picked up, so we'll make that about 3, and then again wait, 0 0.1. Then we'll have it drop again, and not so much of an angle this time, and pick up the glide coordinates, and we'll make that last about 7 seconds, and we'll do another weight of 0 0.1. Then we want to make it look as though um, some wind has picked it up again, but it's going to push it backwards a little bit and glide as if it's getting tossed around and make that 5 and then go up glide we didn't do our weight That five in another weight. And 
and we'll make a drop back down here. And white. And then I can uh, glide back up here. About three seconds. And a final wait. Then we'll put all of that inside a forever block. Uh, and we won't include the first coordinates, so just after here. Oops. And we'll see what that looks like by pressing the green flag. So nice, gentle descent, falling towards the haystacks. Then a gust of wind. Pushes it back up, drops again, then a shift in the wind, pushes it back, and a drop, and getting tossed around and back up. So that looks okay. And I'll just repeat that pattern. So this is just to practice the glide code. Now another way to use glide, if I take you to scratch.mit.edu, this one uh, I've brought in the graphic of the snow from an outside website and then also the skier and I've saved both of those graphics to my computer. Then when I go to bring in a sprite, I just bring it from my computer and not from the sprite library. So with this one, if we click the green flag, the skier comes down the slope and then levels out, momentum slows until the skier comes to a stop. And that's a nice way to use your glide code. So I'll just show you one more time. The skier will always start up the slope levels out and comes to a nice gentle stop. Okay, so only limitation is your imagination, so have fun. Think of ways of how you can use the glide code and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.